Yo, Mike. Is the engine too loud? Yo, Mike. Hello. Welcome to Voting Propolis. I'm Captain Mike, and today we're going to be making my boat a little bit quieter. Let's get started. Okay, here's a quick little science lesson for you guys. Sound is a form of energy, and we all remember the law of energy conservation, right? The law states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed, only converted from one form to another. So we can't just toss out the sound, right? We'll need to convert it to something else, such as heat. Dense, mass-loaded vinyl is the perfect material for doing this. It can absorb sound waves and convert it to a little bit of heat. You're not going to be roasting marshmallows on it, but it might get warm. The stuff here I'm using is a combination of this mass-loaded vinyl and acoustical foam to help filter out a wider range of frequencies. Our boats are thin and it feels like the entire boat is one giant speaker. We got engine noise vibrating all the way up here out of this and this. Even when you're sitting up here, you can hear it coming from behind the seat. Hopefully, adding the stuff around the whole engine compartment will help alleviate some of the noise that's coming from here. This G-Flex will bond metal to fiberglass and remain flexible when cured. Our surface has been prepped and cleaned with acetone and now our hangers are ready for epoxy. So now we can take our old piece of foam and lay it on top of our new one to use it as a template. The edges of the new piece of foam are going to be a little shorter than the old piece. This will make up the difference between the new 2 inch thick piece of new foam that we're putting in and the old flimsy half inch thick foam that we took out. Spray Super 77 on both the foam and the fiberglass. Wait a half a minute for it to get tacky, then press them together. Use it on all the pieces that also get a hanger. many months later. So this project's only been halfway completed and I got through a season just by putting this on the top underneath the seat over here. I didn't get to finish doing around or underneath the gas tank yet. It worked out pretty well. I did notice a little bit of an improvement, but this isn't even working very well. We got some sagging going on over here, which we're gonna fix now. Let's finish up the project, get this done, get on the water and enjoy the boat. When I first taped around the edges, I used this thicker aluminum foil tape. You would normally see it in HVAC, the elements and the salt water will actually make it disintegrate. This is mylar tape. It's thin, flexible, and still heat resistant. It will not melt under the conditions in the engine compartment. This is the bottom edge of the engine hatch door. You could see how the foil tape completely disintegrated down here. And because the foil stayed so stiff, it lost its adhesion to the foam. I did not place enough hangers underneath the seat and that's why it started to separate from the underside here. So we'll put some more in to hold all the way to the foam. This is the line we're going to use to cut this piece in half to relieve the pressure off of the bend here. Let me share a few things I learned after working with this foam. These scissors I got off of Amazon are perfect. The handle is comfortable and the blades are at a perfect angle and serrated on the edges to help cut through the mass loaded vinyl. 
Depending how sharp your knife is, you'll have to make a few passes to get through the reinforced foil surface of the foam and then the foam itself before cutting through the thick vinyl center. I'm just going to demonstrate here how thin the mylar tape is when you cut it. Be very careful, it'll love to stick to itself. As you can see, it seals real nice and this back part is going to be against the boat. And I'll quickly show you up close how you attach the foam to the hangers. Now because the sides of the engine compartment are just carpeted wood, we could take advantage of that by using these 2.5 inch stainless steel screws. Now we don't have to glue anything and make a mess on the sides, and we can remove the panels if we needed to just by taking the screws out. It's very important you leave a cutout over here by the airbox. This is the intake to the engine. All right, all the insulation in the engine compartment is finally done. One thing left to do is test it on the water. Several months later, and we're back under the circus tent again after another boating season. I'm trying to get this out before the next season begins, so pardon the filming under the shrink wrap. I never had a chance to test the volume levels with a decibel meter before I did any of the installation install. Luckily Jay at Smoke and Jay's Garage, thanks Jay, link up top and down below, had taken some readings on his boat. Unfortunately, his boat is not the same year as mine as he has a 2020 242X and mine is a 2010 240SX. Jay took a few readings from different locations at different RPMs. We're going to duplicate his test and add two more spots to get some more readings. Now I don't have access to the decibel meter anymore, but I'm going to use this green frog to represent where I was taking the readings from. As you can see, the comparison results for before and after are inconclusive from a decibel value standpoint. There is just too much variability in our testing environments. Jay's boat has 10 years of Yamaha manufacturing development that prevents his boat from acting like a giant speaker box. Once the readings were taken from outside the boat, the sound level had a surprisingly significant drop. This of course is assuming that the ambient noise, including the wind, were at a constant level for both of our tests. Well, how did the insulation hold up from a realistic and usability standpoint? I, as well as our guests, definitely noticed an improvement. We won't be playing telephone while underway, but the noise is not as extreme as it was before. At the very minimum, it is clear that my boat's factory sound isolation it was absolutely garbage. Adding the foam at least brought the boat to its modern brothers. Can I improve the sound isolation more? I'll get to work on it one of these days. If you guys like this video, give a thumbs up, leave a comment down below if there's anything else that you want to see, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you all on the water.